Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm happy for him. He did a, a great job both passing and running. Six touchdowns, that's unbelievable. Um, but, you know, that's what Jalen do. So I'm very happy for him. Do you think a lot of guys were excited? Were you guys watching the game together? Or was it just like nah, I was in my room by myself just watching the game. You had a pretty good game yourself Saturday. Does that take us through that game? Uh, yeah, I feel like I did pretty decent, you know. Uh, a unit as an offense, the first half, I feel like we didn't really execute our players like how we supposed to, but we came back in the second half and did a lot more, much better. Like to play a few spin moves on, on some yeah. folks out there, you know, what's going through your head when you're thinking, okay, I got to spin one way or the other or, or make one move uh, compared to something else? Nah, not really. The first thing that goes through my head when I get the ball is score. So when I, I just try to score and never let the first guy tackle me. So that's my mindset when I catch the ball. Are you more dangerous with the ball in the air or after you catch it? Uh, I feel like I feel like after I catch it. When I catch the ball, my mindset is just to score, like I said. Um, and when I had that mindset, don't let, don't let nobody tackle me. I just try to do my best to do that. A lot of people that say you're an excellent route runner, what, what makes you such a good route runner? Like, and how much time do you invest in just perfecting that kind of part of your game? Well, I spent a lot of time, you know, just watching other guys and just watching myself so how, how I could run this route better than I did last time. But, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm a real a good route runner, you know. That's like receivers supposed to do, just being creative with their routes just, and try to get open. Mm -hmm. What do you think, I mean, makes a good route runner? Is it just, you know? Just knowing, just knowing the offense, really. Mm -hmm. Just knowing how you're supposed to run this route, where are you supposed to be at this time of the route, and knowing how to s set defenders up mm -hmm. to make you think you're going one way and w which way you already not. Calvin was a really good route runner. I mean, how much did you watch him and, like, the way that he went about things? Uh, well, I watched him a lot. I watched him since high school all the way to the NFL now. So, mm -hmm. yeah, he really helped me improve in my game, too. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it just a, a feel when you know somebody's coming from one way, uh, like, you know, Second sense or something like that that you're kind of you know okay this guy's here I can feel it I need to turn this way or, or how is that? Yeah, it, that, that's all it is. I just like feel it really. So uh, it's it's crazy how it works though. Like I can't even see him. I just like feel it. I don't know how. I, I can't really explain it. Just something God gave me, I guess. How different did the offense feel just the way the plays were called at this game on Saturday compared to maybe last year? Um, uh, I feel like it was more like play by play, you know, last year we were more like score fast, score fast, big play, score fast, but this year we were like taking it taking it slow, to play by play, but I feel like that that was just us the first half, but the second half we came back and did a lot more better on taking advantage of our plays. How does the wide receiver position change in offense that's kind of built like that to kind of methodical drives? Uh, I don't really think it changed. It kind of, it kind of just changed our mindset, you know, just help us really on focus on like we okay we don't gotta have a big play every every single time so you know we gotta take things slow and uh, play play by play. You kind of talked about after the game that you know the initial game plan was to maybe to establish the run early and you know set up some things that way but when that wasn't working he just went, they went back to what what has worked in the past the passing game so you know is that a point that you tell some of the coaches hey give us the ball put us in play you know that kind of thing or Can't repeat that. is there a point that you just when you see the offense struggling to tell a coach or, or advise a coach, hey, just give me an opportunity. Uh, so I don't, I don't really say that to the coaches. I let them do what they um do. So, and I just do what I'm supposed to do. So I don't really. That's not none of my choice. I just gotta know the play and execute my job. We used to never see it around. Do y'all keep track of yards after contact? Do y'all do y'all compete in that at all? Because y'all all good with the ball in your hands. No, nah, we don't. We don't keep track of it. I'm saying like that's what we supposed to do. Every receiver group make plays. So I feel like. That's what we do, just make plays. And when we get the ball in our hand, you don't know who going to score. So when we get the ball, we just try to make something happen. Oh, do you get excited when you see one of those other guys get the ball? Cause oh, yeah, of course. Of course, that's my, those are my teammates. Those are my brothers. You know, I'm very excited for whatever they do. Um, they be having great block. They had a, they, we did a tremendous job blocking that I felt um, on the perimeter. Um, and it's very exciting to see other guys like in our in our room set group just making plays, everybody making plays. It's, it's a very special moment. What's film study like the, the next day when you're kind of watching, you know, uh, Henry make a play or some of the plays? What were some of your teammates' reactions when, when you did like a double spin move to get go into the middle? Uh, I saw Joe. They talking about it. they clicked a B burn on Madden. Yeah, that was pretty funny. But no, nah, but we really focused on what we could have done better. You know, 
I probably didn't have to do that spin move, but it was so like it just reaction. I just had to do it. So something like that, just like waste of time it, time it on that. But like we just watch film just to focus on what we could have done better. You when lined you up equal amounts on in slot and out wide. Where do you prefer to play? Where do you feel like you can make the biggest uh, impact? Wherever the coaches want me. That's how I feel like I I play outside, inside, third receiver. It doesn't matter. I do whatever the whatever I need to do to make plays. When you stayed down a little bit, did you take a headshot right before that? <laughs> when you stayed down a little bit on the on the field near the goal line, um, it came out of the game. I oh, know what you're talking about. No, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't take a headshot. It was just my I was cramping in my hamstring. That's it. You Not mentioned. Amazing. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, you mentioned stuff that uh, you can do better when you look at film study and the offense as a whole. What? Looking back at the Duke game, what are some of those things that you feel like you can still improve on? Oh, uh, probably my my steps and my route, my routes. Yeah, I ran a couple of routes that was like that wasn't really that good. Were kind of sloppy, but uh, other than that, overall the game, I I kind of I kind of was comfortable with what I did. Um, I did a great job blocking a little bit. I missed like one block, but that's something we could work on too. I missed blocking uh, and just run better routes too. Okay, what happened on the hold then? Hmm? What happened on the hold on the punt? Uh, like I said, man, I thought. See, I saw. I saw linemen's linemen be falling on the line when they pancake them or something. I thought we could fall on the the um, the punt, but I guess we can't. So they threw a flag on me. So hey. <laughs> what about the offense? That's the one stuff that uh, we kind of look at and think that we as a as a unit could do a little bit better. Can you feel that? You, you talked about stuff that you can do better, like run your routes better and not be so mm -hmm. sloppy. What about the offense as a whole that you guys as a unit can I do feel better? like we could just um, start off more fast. You know, we didn't have to, like, wait all the way through the like, second quarter, second half to score. I feel like right when we step on the field, everything should be nice and crisp, nice and crisp. But, you know, just keep practicing and we'll, keep, we'll get better at that. How, how do you get that to happen, to, to be kind of firing on all cylinders right from the opening kickoff? It really is. It really just start off with the energy. And the mindset we have in the beginning, you know, so just having that energy and mindset will help us really start it off. All right, thank you.